Here we have a Beretto 1320H all hydraulic tiller. It's got the Honda 13 horsepower engine. It's 20 inches wide. There's your hydraulic pump. There's the rotor motor, which is hydraulic. On the other side, you'll see it's got the hydraulic drive motor. This isn't a one of your big box store type tillers. As you can see, she's pretty stout. I want you to take a look. It's 3 8 inch plate all the way through. It weighs 560 pounds, holds 15 gallons of oil. And it will flat eat anything you put in front of it, short of hard rock. It'll eat hard pan, clay, sod, virgin soil, like it isn't even there. Uh, the beauty of it is, of course, with the Howell hydraulic drive, there's no belts, there's no chains, anything like that. Another nice thing we got here, like I say, she's thick. Take a look at the steel they use. I'll knock this off. The tines here are hard faced, so they're beveled on the front and back, so you can turn the tines forward or backward. You have a depth gauge here, which I really need to drop down a little bit. The depth gauge is here. So I'm going to drop that down one notch. So it doesn't go so deep. And yeah, maybe I won't. Yeah, well, probably got built up a little bit of mud around it. Because it, it was a little muddy the last time I tilled with it. But there you see it. She's a beaut, boy, it just purrs like a kitten. Hang on, fire it up, let you listen to it. Turn it on here. There we go, grind it up a little bit. There's your controls. Put the driving forward, and you see there's a speed on it, so you almost stall the wheels. Put the signs on forward, and here we go. Yep, we're going a little faster. We'll show you the before and after. There's the before. Take a look how she does. Slow her down a little bit here. Like I say, you can slow her down to just a crawl. There it's working. I'm going to wind her up a little bit here. You're going now. And all you gotta do is pull the lever and she goes. There it is. Once again, there's the before. Take a look, there's the after. Like I say, what you can do if you want to, just gotta go in and pull it and use this, put them in reverse, put the tines in reverse, and pull like this. Of course, take a look at how nice that works up the dirt. You can work in straw, sand, compost, whatever you need. I'll go the rest of the road. I'm mean, going forward. There we go. And here we go. There it is. There's the after. There it is working. Like I say, you can go as fast or slow as you want. I'm trying to go slow to work everything up. I just sat for the winter. And look how pretty that is after. There you go. One, one pass. I gotta do the whole guard. So I'm gonna turn off the video because it's kind of hard to run the tiller and run the video at the same time. If you got any questions, give me a holler, shoot me a line. I'll do my best to answer. Thank you.